Praise be Jesus Christ, peace be with you. Friends, if you recall, a couple of weeks ago, we spoke about the Eucharist as the source and the summit of our Catholic faith. So everything we believe and do as Catholics proceeds forth from the Eucharist, and it all is, is aiming back to return to the Eucharist as kind of the climax, the culmination of our Catholic faith. Well, this week, if it were even possible, the Church teaches a similar truth in even stronger words. She says, and I quote, the Eucharist, in brief, is the sum and summary of our faith. Now, consider what that means. Everything we believe as Catholics, everything we profess to believe in the creed, when we say, I believe, everything in the Gospels, the letters of St. Paul, the teachings of all the popes, going back to Peter himself, the teachings of all the holy and ecumenical councils, all of theology, all of Revelation is summed up in the sacrament of the Eucharist, in Christ's sacramental self-gift to us, his Church. And so the Church proposes this norm for us in the words of St. Irenaeus. She says, our way of thinking is attuned to the Eucharist, and the Eucharist in turn confirms our way of thinking. And we can expand this word thinking to include our way of acting, our way of feeling, what we believe. It all must be shaped by, or as the Catechism says, attuned to the Eucharist. It must acquire a Eucharistic shape. Our very life must take on the dimensions of the Eucharist. And in turn, we can check ourselves against the Eucharist as our model to see, am I living up to the model which Christ has given us? That model is, is expressed most powerfully when Christ lays down his life for us, his friends, on the altar at every Holy Mass. He makes himself as small as that. He hides himself under the signs of bread and wine, so insignificant, so that we may receive him, we may consume him. He makes himself that vulnerable to us. He makes himself that little. That's why our Lord teaches us in the Gospels, greater love hath no man than this, to lay down his life for his friends. So as we evaluate what we believe, what we think, how we feel, and how we act day to day, the Eucharist is our sure guideline. As we ask ourselves, am I living up to Christ's own model? How closely am I conforming myself to the action of Jesus, our Lord, who gives himself up fully, body, blood, soul, divinity, holding nothing back? How much am I giving myself to those whom the Lord has placed before me, those whom he has willed to be in my life so that I may bear his Eucharistic love to them? So friends, thank you for joining me for these first series of videos on the Eucharist. Next Sunday, we'll begin to speak about the different names we have for this great sacrament and the different shades of meaning they communicate to us. Until then, may God bless you and your loved ones, now and always. Amen.